Assalamu alaikum dear students hope you are fine by the grace of Allah today I am here for class 5 English version of students so dear students today will be, I will be discussing about chapter 10 of your elementary science book so students let's start this video so students now we are in chapter 10 information in our life so at first we will be able to know about the importance of information sharing why it is very important to share the information what are the effects of sharing information etc etc and in the second topic you will be able to know about collection storage and exchange of information there are many sources of exchanging information or collecting storage information many of them are mentioned here and there are some processes of how to store information how to exchange information using technology etc now after that we will be able to know about a software it is known as scratch it is one kind of commanding software you can give commands here to make something good or something app etc this is one kind of coding but this is not coding actually at all this is just the basics so after that now students we will go through the exercises of this chapter so elementary science class 5 information in our life chapter 10 so now students that first we'll go through some tick marks number one which device is used for storing information a tv b radio c newspaper d cd the answer will be d cd second question which technology is used for sharing information a bus B thermometer, C mobile phone, and D tractor. The correct answer will be C mobile phone. Third question When many block codes are arranged logically together, what is it called? A sprite, B program, C editor, D backdrop. The correct answer will be A sprite. Now, students, let us go through some short question answers. Number one, give three names of devices for storing information answer three names of devices for storing information are number one pen drive number two dvd and number three memory card second question what are the technologies that enables us to exchange information answer information can be exchanged through computer internet email sms tv radio etc our third short question why is information important answer information is very important in our life information enables us to know something new and to decide what to do fourth question what is internet answer internet is a network of interconnected computers it enables us to collect information easily now our next question is Name three major search engines used in Bangladesh. Answer. Three major search engines used in Bangladesh are number one Google, number two Yahoo, and number three Pipilika. Our last question from where the block is taken? Answer. The block is taken from the events code area of Scratch program. Now, students, let us go through some descriptive question answers. Number one. You have got the information from TV that a cyclone is coming toward Bangladesh. What will you do? Answer. If I come to know that a cyclone is coming towards Bangladesh, I will, of course, share it with others. That is, I will exchange the information. To do so, I will take the help of telephone, SMS, social networks, email, internet, etc. I will share the information with others so that they can reduce the possible damages made by the cyclone. As a consequence, people's lives and properties will be saved. Now students, let's go through our next broad question. Explain how to collect information through the internet. Answer. To collect information using the internet, firstly, we will take the help of different search engines like Google, Yahoo, Pipilika etc then in the search bar we'll write down the keywords of the information we are looking for after that we will click the search button or press the enter key then we will collect the necessary information from the search results found on the internet now our next question why do we need to acquire the proper skills to find understand evaluate and use information answer Acquiring the skills to find, understand, evaluate, and use information is essential for several reasons. 
Number one, information overload. In the digital age, we are inundated with a vast amounts of information. These skills help us navigate their overload and find the relevant information we need. Second point, critical thinking. Evaluating information requires us to critically analyze sources, identify biases, and assess credibility. This fosters critical thinking and helps us make informed decisions. Now our third point, lifelong learning. The ability to find, understand, and use information is a fundamental skill for lifelong learning. It empowers us to continue growing and adapting to a rapidly changing world. Now our fourth point, informed decision making. Whether making personal or professional decisions, having the skills to gather and evaluate information is crucial for making informed choices. Number five, active citizenship. In a democratic society, informed citizens are essential. These skills enable us to participate meaningfully in civic life and contribute to positive change. In essence, these skills are the foundation for effective learning, critical thinking, and informed decision making, which are essential in today's world. So dear students, our next question is, what will happen to our life without information sharing? Answer. A world without information sharing would be dramatically different. Here are some potential consequences. Limited knowledge. We would have significant delays access to information, hindering our ability to learn, grow and understand the world around us. So hindering our ability to learn, grow and understand the world around us. Inefficient decision making. Without the ability to share information, making informed decisions would be incredibly difficult, leading to poor outcomes in various aspects of life, hampered innovation. Progress and innovation often rely on the exchange of ideas and knowledge. Without information sharing, the pace of technological and social advancement would likely slow down. Social insulation. Information sharing plays a crucial role in connecting people. Without it, social insulation and the lack of understanding between communities would could increase. Economic stagnation. Many industries rely on the free flow of information for trade, research and development. A lack of information sharing could hinder economic growth and prosperity. So students, that's all for today. Hope you have liked the video. If you like the video, don't forget to like, comment and also don't forget to subscribe. And our next video will be from chapter 11, weather and climate. You all are invited to watch that video. So that's all for today. See you soon. Assalamu alaikum.